Frank is in Venice, Florida. Hi, Frank. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Yes, sir. You always put a big old smile on my face, Mr. Ramsey. Well, thank you, sir. How can we help? I've got a mobile home with a pickle. Um, my girlfriend was paralyzed, and I brought, brought her into my house and had to gut the house and wide no doors and put a mother-in-law suite on the side for somebody to take care of her and all this and put $100,000 more in the house. And now uh, she got her money and went on, which is fine. And I, I'm stuck with a house that's uh, priced at 100 and tops is 190 in the neighborhood. And I was trying to ask 80, 289 and I'm not getting any bites. And I don't know, uh, should I keep it and try to rent it? But, but the rent thing, I, I won't rent it. So it's been empty for like two years. And I just, I'm kind of in the, in the price of housing. And once the, it goes down, it's going to, mobile homes get hit and you have to pay cash for it. So the, uh, this whole so, thing, um, this the the addition, all of it's mobile home? Pardon me? The, the whole deal is a mobile home? I thought you said you did like an addition. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, it, what'd you do, attach a different yeah. mobile home to it? I don't understand. No, no, no. It's. The I bought it that way. The uh, carport area has a huge long carport, and they took that side of it and put a um, another uh, mother in law suite on the side. With, and and know, so the whole structure is mobile home. You have to walk down two stairs, and then you're down in the other part of the. It's like the ground floor and the garage level for the other part of it. A basement. Sort of speak, it's the garage. I mean, there's there's a garage on the other side of the door where you okay. can put your car in or your motorcycle. So okay, but I mean, this there, there's not any portion of this home of this property that is traditionally stick built. It's all uh, no manufactured housing. Correct. Okay, that's Underwood. what I'm trying to get Underwood. my head around. Underwood. What I'm, I can't see it yeah, in my head. So I'm right. trying to make sure I understand. Okay, and and so yes, you think that the actual market value on it, regardless of what you paid for it, if you put it on the market and said I'm going to sell this to a real person for real money, the the real market value is what? I had a uh, lady come out and she said it was anywhere in the neighborhood. She priced it out for anywhere from 120 to 190. Okay. And uh, it's all wheelchair accessible. It has a deck, dock on the water, double lot, three huge sheds, concrete all the way around the house. Everything's macked out. It, all the furniture goes with it. It's ready to go. What kind Turn of water is it on? Intercoastal you, or what? Uh, fresh water goes out to two lakes. Okay. All right. Just access. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, um, and, and is is there... You said it was a neighborhood or an area that is worth how, in the hundred thousand dollar range, though. Well, the 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 the, the realtor said it goes anywhere from one hundred and twenty to one hundred and ninety in that neighborhood. Well, that's ridiculous. I mean, one hundred and twenty to one hundred and ninety. Why why didn't she say fifty to a million? Uh, my God, I mean, I know, that's, I know. That, that's that's what I. I, I, I didn't so I think you need it. a different. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Click on ELP yeah. at Ramsey Solutions and get one of our endorsed local providers out there to look at this thing. Um, it sounds okay, to me I'll like that, it sounds yeah. to me like what you said is true, um, that you have you spent a lot of money to build a situation oh out God. to build a situation I, out I, that I, you're I, not going to recoup. Right, I, I'm like, she had nowhere to go, so I got in my house. and yeah, didn't pay people, tradesmen to come I know, in. I know, but you're so now I'm, you. I'm not saying you had bad motivation and that you're not noble. You are noble, and you had a wonderful motivation. But the end of the story today is. Or the end right. of the, the next chapter is today. I'm sitting here person? with a piece of property that, regardless of how we got here, that we have way too much right. invested in based on what it's really worth. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's what and I'm. How thinking. do I sell to a handicapped person? And then they would love the house. They just have to find the right person. Yeah, you got to you got to put on the market, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a handicap. It just has some have to have somebody that just really doesn't want two levels. It could be just somebody that doesn't want to climb stairs anymore. Right. And they like the water, and they like the big garage right. and the carport and all that. That's all cool, right. you know? Right. Uh, and right. so I, I don't care why they like it. I just want them to like it and give you money for it. Right. And you're going to lose right. money when right. you do this because you have more than 120 in it, don't you? Oh, my God. i got over 300 in it. Yeah. So you're, that part's just screwed. You understand that? Yeah, that's why I was asking 289, and I've had 25 people yeah. say it's a beautiful come through the house, say it's a beautiful house, but it's 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 priced out of the neighborhood where only want to spend two hundred.
I'm like, uh, but you'll never find one like this. Yeah, we know, but. Yeah, but you're priced out of the neighborhood. See, what, what you yeah. what you paid for it doesn't matter. What you'd like to get for it doesn't matter. What exactly. some will, what someone will actually pay you for it is all that matters. That's called market value. Right, that's what they're saying. That, and this you know, is this is the part value. of the story where you admit that what you did, even though it was of good intention and a very noble call, cost you two hundred grand. What was I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, that's, that's it, I, I'm not. Thing. I didn't. I didn't say you did anything wrong. But you wrote a check to be noble <laughs> for two hundred grand. That's the net effect of this. And, and the sooner you get past the idea that somehow you're going to get more money for this because you were a great guy taking care of her, I'm sorry, it doesn't enter into the equation of market value. It, there's no part of the real estate valuation that says great guy. Yeah. And I don't know how much equity, you know, Frank's got in this thing or what he could sell it for, what he get out of it, where he's going to go next. Those are some pieces of the equation he's got to figure out. But the key here is, and you talk about this in Financial Peace University and the real estate lesson is not overbuilding in the neighborhood. And it's for exactly this reason, because you, you're underwater on it like you would be with a car. And so, Frank, uh, I think you've got some hard decisions to make, but I think this is a stupid tax. Yeah, you've already lost the money. The only question is, are you going to admit it? That the money's gone. You're not going to get it back out of this property. And, and, and when you sell it and you get a check for $125,000, that's when you will admit it. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Again, I'm not picking on you for your motives or anything else. Uh, you know, looking back on it, you probably would have done it a different way if I were to ask you that. But completely understand.